What is architecture for you? Um, architecture is uh, a set of effects, uh, or what I would like to call games, that a few people have an exaggerated relationship to. Um, and that are pursued with a kind of uh, unjustifiable intensity the, for two reasons. It keeps the game going, and that's its own justification, but also as an after effect, things come out of that that benefit other people. So an analogy be with filmmakers make films to speak to other filmmakers, but occasionally audiences like them. Perfect. Good. And so what can this kind of understanding do you have architecture do for society or...? Um, as much as music. Okay. <laughs> And how Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. okay. How do you position yourself in this context as an architect? As an uh, two ways. One is to demystify architecture. To stop, if it's not a problem of making buildings better or making the lives of buildings better, we already do that, and we do that really well. Um, but that once we do that, it stops being architecture. So, for example, as soon as we put plumbing in a building and lives of people got better, it, the the it left. There's no such thing as a building whose architecture is about its great plumbing great ventilation, great light. So the minute we can do something with that kind of certainty, then it's not interesting to architecture. So architecture is more like magic tricks, I think. It really affects the way people feel in the world, about themselves, about other people, about um, not me and you and other people. And it works in really behind the scenes. So when you go into a movie, um, you're watching the actors and you're listening to the script and that's what you're paying attention to. But the whole time the music is telling you how to feel. So it's really controlling your relationship to the art, to the story. And in a, the same way, architecture does the same thing. Every time you walk outside, if it's a new building, it's a new building. It's a soundtrack. Uh, a really, it's, a, it's the soundtrack that never gets turned off. And so it's constantly controlling you, but not in direct um, ways of, that you pay attention to. It's controlling you because it's right beneath attention, so it's like the soundtrack. Yeah. Yeah. So if, you're, if you want to write, be a composer of soundtracks, sometimes you're below attention, sometimes you're above attention. But your goal is to work while somebody's paying attention to something else in effect that. And so that's what I like to teach. How you do that? What is your architectural position under this course? Um, one, oh, one is that it's not hard. Okay. Um, it's not mysterious. Mm -hmm. um, the other one is it's a success. Architecture is a history of great successes, okay. not a history of failures. Yes. And we tend to teach it as a history of failures. Oh, look at this mistake this guy made. Look at this mistake this one. And the third one is it's incredibly valuable to do without having to pretend like it's something else, okay. like engineering or yeah, sociology. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, what I meant was, do you have a name for your architectural position? Uh, changes every day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. I I have a very short attention span, mm -hmm. so I I've. I've produce lots of different positions, um, but it really, I get bored. What is it today? Uh, ah, maybe I should come up with a name, it's a really good idea, but it, it's really about dark silhouette buildings, no lighting, no glowing, um, looks like ghosts. Like the great renders you said you showed us today for the... Right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And last question, I suppose it also changes, but what is your preferred design method? Or uh, actually, I, I, there, a guy named Fortbound wrote a 
book, he's a philosopher called Against Method, mm -hmm. um, and you know, Patrick is clearly for metric methods. Um, as soon as there's a method that's right and seems to be working, I get really uncomfortable and want to change it. So I'm a person who's against method. I don't think you can work without a method, but I don't think you should you could ever trust the idea that there's a method that will last sufficiently a long time and it will become the method. That's it. Great. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> very nice.